Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zayn, and I'm coming on to bring a message for the chosen seed. Now, this message is specifically for those of you who are high priest, high priestess. You know that you have very powerful spiritual gifts, and you have been actively using these gifts in order to help others, especially those of you who are publicly bringing your gifts forward to the world where people are able to see you and access your energy. I want to first start off by saying that you have a very divine connection. The messages that you receive, the spiritual downloads that the Most High has granted to you are not commonly um, received by others who have spiritual gifts. The messages that you have access to are divine messages that come through your Akashic records is embedded in your DNA. You have direct access to the spiritual realm and the gifts that the Most High has bestowed upon you is unique to you because of who you are and because of your assignment and because of your willingness to go through the major transformations and the healing in order to accept these gifts. And so you may find that a lot of the messages that comes through are very powerful, uh, transformative messages that even you yourself are shocked at times that you receive these powerful downloads. This is something that you want to give thanks for, but also understand that there are groups of people out here, so-called spiritualists who have a hunger for power. They have a hunger for your gifts. They have a hunger to access the information that you have. They don't understand where you get these gifts from. They don't understand the source. They don't understand how you possess so much power, even though their ego tells them that They deserve what you have. But see, you have a divine connection to everything. Nature speaks to you. The Most High speaks to you through nature. And so when you're sent a message, you listen. You take heed. You take note. You do not allow your ego to get in the way. And this was a large part of your transformation. And the reason why you have access to these messages is because you died to the unhealthy ego that existed within you, you release the unhealthy aspect of your ego. And so when messages come through, you are able to filter them and to be receptive to these messages without, without resistance. And so there are people who have been watching you. You might not have been aware of this, but there are people who have been watching you from the sidelines and they know that your gifts go well beyond the average person who might possess clairvoyance, claircognizance, the different clairs, you know. Your gift is direct access to other dimensions. You are a dimension traveler. You receive gifts well beyond, if you do readings, your gifts go well beyond reading cards. You're able to time travel, dimension travel. You uh, receive visions, you receive dreams that give you prophetic messages, you are able to tap in in a way where a lot of people who are ego driven and who truly believe that they're supposed to possess your gifts, they don't understand how you have access to that. So they've been watching you from behind the scenes and they've been trying to conjure up ways on how they can grab a hold of your gifts. How can they siphon your gifts? How can they steal your gifts? Because see, these this particular group, for some of you, this is a particular group of people. They put someone on a pedestal. This person that they put on the pedestal, man or woman, they do not possess spiritual gifts. If they had any access in the past, those gifts have now been stripped away from them because they lack integrity. And so these people have been watching you, you know, envious of your gifts, especially this person that they put on a pedestal, because this person believes that they are supposed to have what you have. 
they believe that your gifts belong to them. And so this person is, is, you know, going through it. They had their moments of, you know, feeling like they were not worthy of this position, this pedestal that they was put on by this group of people. You might as well say it's a cult, it's a coven. And this group of people felt like they were indebted to this person. They felt like, okay, well, we can access gifts for you. We can go and do rituals and siphon these gifts for you. And they stumbled upon you. They stumbled upon your gifts. They stumbled upon your channel or whatever it is that you do in order to help people publicly. And this group of people vowed to this person that they put on this pedestal that they would come and siphon your gifts because they felt like you didn't deserve them. They felt like only someone who they honored, who they put, put in this position, this, this high ranking position in the underworld, this person deserves your gifts. And so they watched you. This group of people have obsessively watched you day and night coming together, trying to see what you're talking about. What information are you gathering? Are your gifts becoming weaker? Are they becoming stronger? Trying to see if the rituals that they tried to do against you in order to siphon your gifts have worked. But they have been highly unsuccessful. And so this has been very disappointing for these people because they had an assignment. They had an assignment to target you. They had an assignment to do this because for whatever reason, they just felt like you didn't deserve it. They felt like this person that they put on this pedestal deserved your gifts and that only someone of their stature should have access to such high level information. So these people would gather and they would do rituals together. They would come together and do all types of spell work and dark magic, sending the evil eye in hopes that they could, you know, weaken you, get you discouraged, you know, push this energy out there so that you wouldn't continue to grow. You wouldn't continue to have divine access. They did all types of rituals to try to slow down your finances. If you're receiving revenue from your gifts or to try to stop your clientele or to stop the views, if you have social media platforms or to try and send whatever stumbling blocks they could, they did moon magic, moon rituals. They gathered day and night thinking of any and every way that they could try and take your gifts. But what they fail to realize is that you have a relationship. You have a relationship with all of the elements. And so every element that they tried to use to work against you was highly unsuccessful. You know, they, they tested it out. They would try to go and see, okay, have we been able to uh, siphon this person's gifts? Let's test it out to see if we now have access to this divine information. And every time they tried to test it out, they realized that they failed every time. The gifts that they thought they was trying to take from you. Every time they did something, your gifts became more powerful. So while they called themselves trying to pull and siphon your gifts in order, to, in order to give it over to whoever this man or woman is that they placed on this pedestal. They begin to realize that every single time they did a ritual against you, the spiritual downloads and the messages that came through you became that much more powerful. Meanwhile, you're out here hugging trees. You're out here getting grounded, receiving your information from Mother Earth. And so because you have such a close relationship to nature and all of the elements, the elements work on your behalf. So while they was doing rituals, trying to use nature to work against you, nature was fighting back and saying, hell no, you won't get to that one because there is a true bond that you have with mother nature. You receive a lot of your spiritual downloads through your connection to nature. And they didn't understand why you continue to persevere and to push and to bring your gifts forward. You never stopped. You never gave up. You was constantly bringing these messages forward, unselfishly bringing these messages forward because you understood the importance of balancing humanity, bringing enlightenment to humanity, lifting the veil, removing falsehood, removing conditioning and helping people to see the truth. You understood the importance of cracking the matrix. And so these people, they continue to work up against you in hopes that they would get you to stop in your spiritual purpose, but they couldn't do it. The Most High has given you a divine assignment that is only for you. No one else can access this information. 
because they're not in the right energy to access the information. It's not in their DNA to access the type of information that you have access to. It's not in their Akashic records to access the type of information that you have been able to tap into. You are a divine being with a divine assignment and only your is, is a part of your energetic signature. No one else can sign off on this assignment ex except for you. They thought they was going to be able to take your, your, your legacy. They thought they was going to be able to take your gifts, your power, your authority, your strength. They thought they was really, they thought they really had it in a bag. And it's really sad for these people because they've been sadly mistaken. A lot of them are now under judgment for what they chose to do against you. They really thought that the more of them that gathered, they thought they was gathering for a righteous cause. But now the leader that they placed on a pedestal is now praying for mercy, begging for mercy. They no longer have the throne that they thought they was going to sit on by, while using and siphoning your gifts. See, this person had a point to prove. They needed to prove that they were worthy of that seat. But the fact of the matter is, the Most High did not give them that assignment. And so now people are going to be begging for mercy because there's harsh judgment that's coming upon their heads. Your angels are working overtime to bring utter destruction to every last one of them because they should have left you alone. And they should have recognized that when the Most High says that it's not yours, then don't touch it. If it wasn't given to you, then you have no right trying to steal it. You have no right coming together trying to siphon it. And so every person that gathered together to do rituals against you is now meeting with the angel of death. That's my message for you all. Please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let us know what your personal experience is. It's the time of judgment. We are in the age of Aquarius and everything must be revealed.